What is up you guys? Ew. So for today's video, I thought it'd be kind of fun. Um, I see this all the time, like how I go from zero to a hundred or how I catfish people. On my last get ready with me, um, I got some comments saying, oh my god, like, because I did the intro with my makeup and then all of a sudden I jump cut to me with no makeup and people were like, I jumped. So, and I laughed. I thought that was hilarious because it's like, yeah, I definitely look a lot different with makeup. So right now I look like a 12 year old boy. Hopefully I'm going to look my age when I'm done here. So yeah, that's the whole point of this. Um, I'm just going to get right into it because yeah, that's today's video. So, okay. And I do kind of have like a little fake chain going on as you guys can tell because I don't tan anymore. Like at all like I don't go outside so I'm super pale like I didn't even get tan even in the summer I usually get like really tan in the summer because my mom has that really pretty olive skin tone and she is just all year round she is pretty tan and I'll insert a picture like right here of me in like the summer um I had so many freckles and then I realized I was like let's not be stupid now and get skin cancer so I don't go outside anymore but yeah that's just my thing so I do kind of fake tan like literally only on my neck area when I want to do my makeup because it's so much easier to like match my makeup and I just like looking tan so I'm just gonna be using some moisturizer right now this is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion I'm sweating right now this top is so tight on my arms and I thought I would wear it to kind of like stretch it out but I'm dying I think I'm gonna change one sec so next I'm gonna be taking this primer this is the julep blank canvas mattifying primer I'm obsessed with this recently I've had it for a long time but I just kind of like picked it up again this shit is so strong it's amazing okay so I just put it like where I have the most pores and I kind of let it sit for a little bit and then I rub it in I feel like that literally just my pores instantly go away it's amazing I got this at Ulta it's kind of spendy I don't really know like I am like typically just a drugstore bitch like I will not buy any high-end stuff but um, for a primer I was like you know what I should just do it I think it was like $20 that's expensive for me so yeah so now for my foundation I actually usually always take this one but it might be a little bit too light because I kind of went overboard on the fake tan here so I might take my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I like full coverage for foundation. This is in shade Soft Beige. Oh, oh wow, you didn't even see it. Okay. And then I just like blend everything out with a Real Techniques sponge. I wanted... Oh. Okay, this looks a lot lighter in the bottle. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're just going to try this. I just take my damp sponge. This isn't that full coverage, what? Sad, I literally feel like one of those girls that goes, like, literally way too dark. Okay, so I'm back. I actually went in, oh god. I went over the top of it with this foundation. This is in light beige. This is one that I always actually wear, pretty much. Like, this is my actual skin tone, but I thought the other one was just a little bit too dark and not full coverage at all, so I literally just went over it with this one to kind of tone it down. Okay, I'm just gonna use this concealer. It's probably way too light. Damn. Okay, whatever. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Swan. I'm just gonna tap because I know it's already like way too light for me. I always see these type of videos and just laugh. I'm just like, yep, this is me. Cause I always see like how I go from zero to a hundred or like how I catfish people. And I'm like, yep. My Instagram, like I'm not that good at makeup obviously, but <laughs> obviously um but all i wear my instagram like is my makeup like i don't ever go natural and literally like 90 percent of the time i'm not wearing makeup and it's just i always like to look a little bit like presentable on camera i don't know if i want to cream contour just because my foundation is already like super heavy but for the sake of the video i think i will okay i like to go in with my ellie girl pro conceal in beautiful bronze um, this is more of like a gray undertone for me, so it's actually like really nice for contouring. 
and I just put it on like this brush. This is a stippling brush. And I do that because I literally hate the applicator because this stuff to me, I think it's kind of dry. So it's a little harder to blend out. Not hard, but like you have to go quickly. So, oh, wow, babe. I feel like I'm just making myself look uglier. Like I look like peanut butter baby. Do you guys know what that is? If I ever have a kid, I'm gonna like their first Halloween is gonna, they're gonna be like peanut butter baby. I think that shit is hilarious. We're just gonna stop right there. It's not working out at all. So now I'm gonna be baking. I love baking. I feel like that gives me like the most flawless finish ever. So I'm gonna be taking my fair light um, Maybelline loose finishing powder, um, fair light or 10. And this is a little bit darker. So it'll kind of like tone down like the really light areas underneath my eyes. And I bake everywhere. I feel like this entire video, I'm overexposed. What the f sister snatched bitch. I ordered the <laughs> James Charles palette. I don't know how I did it. Cause apparently it sold out. I'm like not even that into makeup, but <laughs> I ordered that. I like, oh, I just poked my eye. Um, I literally got out of the shower. I think it launched right at 10 o'clock, like for my time. And I got out of the shower at like 10, literally 10 o'clock. And I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna buy the palette. I feel like I was one of the first people to buy that shit because I got that right away. I don't know, I feel really cool. So I just, had to share that. <laughs> so now while I'm baking, I'm just gonna contour and I like to use this bronzer. It's a bronzer and contour from Morphe. Yeah, I just pretty much go like this and contour my five head. I have a very big forehead. Um, so yeah, I contour the crap out of it. And I love how this thing comes with a mirror. Like, I feel like everything I buy is the wrong color for me. Like. Looking at this thing, it's like, this is not, this is not my color. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I picked up the wrong one because I thought like this was more of like a gray undertone. And I like to kind of contour like the apples of my cheeks just so I look really lifted. Um, bossy. I don't know why I have that song stuck in my head. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm moving on to blush. I haven't always worn blush, but I've kind of gotten into it. Um, I really like the Milani Luminoso blush, but today I'm going to be taking this Laura Geller blush. This is the Baked Blush in Brighton um, in Tropic Hues. I got this in my Boxy Charm. It's more of like, it literally has like a highlight with it. So I love like just that really pretty sheen. And I'm taking this with a Real Techniques blush brush. Look at me, I'm actually using a brush that it's actually for. If that made any sense. <laughs> and I'm just going to drag that up. Oh my god. Okay, I fixed the lighting literally halfway through, so hopefully you guys can actually see something. Um, but this is the best part when you set your face and your makeup just starts to melt into it and actually look like real skin. Because right now I just look like a powdered mess. So I'm just gonna be taking my Revolution Pro Fix Fixing Spray. Love this stuff. I've had like three of these. I've gone through all of them. And yes, I spray that much, but I go in with my beauty blender, you guys, and just slowly tap that in. This helps like all your powders and liquids blend in together and it just looks flawless. Like if you wanna take one thing away from this, do this shit. I'm just gonna do my brows off camera because I absolutely suck at my brows, so. Okay, go ahead and roast me. I know my eyebrows look like trash, um, but we're just gonna move past that and highlight. Um, I feel like every bad bitch has a highlight. So does hi Has a pop and highlight there. <laughs> I used to go for this all the time. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. This shit is popping. Yeah, so I'm just going to be highlighting everywhere that I normally would. Like what the fuck? I love a uh, like highlighted Cupid's bow and like really highlighted nose. So if you don't, it's fine. Don't do it, okay? 
Now I usually don't do much for my eyes like I literally like to just put some mascara on and some false lashes and to be honest i'm kind of running out um yeah okay i'm just gonna curl my lashes and put some mascara on this mascara is popping you guys this is the superhero mascara by it cosmetics again i got that in my boxy charm and it's amazing like it's pretty chunky at first, like you have to kind of wipe the product off. If you couldn't tell, I'm an affiliate like for BoxyCharm, so yeah. Check the description box because I have my link in there, so like look at that. That's like literally not even a full coat. Now I'm going to add some lashes. I got my lashes from... What is this called? Um, It's called AliExpress. If you guys don't know what AliExpress is get familiar um these lashes were like two dollars and fifty cents that's what they look like i have to trim these ones a little bit but they are literally like nice ash nice ass nice lashes oh my god but i love these so i'm gonna put these on and i'll be right back okay so now that my lashes are on i'm just gonna be finishing up my look with my lips now i don't have very big lips like i kind of have like somewhat of like a little pouty like bottom lip but I have very tiny lips um which is totally fine I don't really mind um but for my combo today I'm gonna be taking my NYX lip liner in nutmeg lining my lips just to make them look bigger I don't overline because I'm scared like I'm just gonna suck at it and then I'm gonna be going in with this morphe liquid lipstick in taunt over that and then right in the center I'm going to be going in with this NYX Simply Nude Lip Cream to give it more of an ombre effect and just make my lips look bigger but they aren't actually big at all so. So that obviously looks really weird but like I said I'm going to go in with this little liquid lipstick. My lips are so crusty right now. Oh my. And just lightly go over that so like the darker liner still peeks through, but. And as you can see, it's still kind of like that dark, the lines that I did in the middle still kind of like are a little see-through. So it gives it a little more depth, I think. And then I'm just gonna go in right in the center. Look at that! Shoot. And I'm not the biggest gloss fan, so I don't always wear gloss. Um, but yeah, this is just how I do my lips. So guys, that is the end of this little catfish video. Um, as you can tell, I literally went from a little boy to maybe like a six on like a really nice person scale. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, which I do, I mean, I think these are hilarious because it's so true. I think makeup is an art form. I love makeup. I do it just because like I like to see the transformation. I think that's why I love makeup so much. Like you can just get a huge transformation from it. Um, but yeah, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe to my channel. I would love it if you guys stuck around and I will see you guys in my next video.